What's going on with all my money motivated stars? Now, this is gonna be a quick little video about, you know, the biggest controversial topic that you will probably ever run into when it comes to the society, you know, when it comes to men and women and uh, text brackets, you know what I mean? Like women making more, men making more, you know what I mean, about, about income basically. Cause I watched the video on Tyler Perry speaking on that situation and he was basically saying it's okay for women to make more uh, money than a male. You know what I mean? As long as that woman and that male have real love for each other, it's okay for the male to like just pay the light bill and take the woman out from time to time. You know what I mean? And the woman pay all the other bills if the male is not capable of doing it due to his income. And I understood, you know what I mean? But you know, it, that type of talking in today's society is gonna go over a lot of people's head, especially the women who are programmed to, I call them social media women, because a lot of women who I've met, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of women who've I, who I've met in my uh, lifetime, they, they didn't think like that, you know what I mean? That's why, like, everybody, we wanna get out the hood, yeah, we wanna see different things, but I really like where I come from because the women I've dated, they never thought like that, you know? Us being from the hood, the women that I know, they see the struggle. They see how hard it is for for men to go do this, you know what I mean? Yeah, and true enough, a lot of men do find their way quicker than others, and they 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 are more prosper than, prosperous than others. <clears throat> but it's a lot of women who are in the hood that don't really judge that, you know what I mean? Like... For a woman to talk about you in the hood, you have to be like flat broke and you have to really be in a hurt of feelings for her to really talk about your income and how, what you ain't doing, you know what I mean? Because like I said, it's a social media woman that's going around. Like all these women who going around talking about if my man ain't making this or such and such, such and that, they lack love and they only looking at what they see on social media. They want the lifestyle they see on social media. And the ones who ain't on the internet who's talking like this, them the 2000 babies, that's the generation up under us who's like the, these the fitting all babies and the and the robbers and the all these gangsters you know what i mean like it's a lot of i'm not saying that gangsters didn't exist but it's more of that going around you know what i mean everybody putting on for the rap music and everybody this that did and everybody doing a lot of stuff that's like the generation that's going on now you know what i mean where you could you really probably ain't gonna find <clears throat> loyal women ain't being built you know what i mean unless they have this solid foundation which is their parents and they are saying, find love, you know what I mean? Cause a lot of people like to say, the saying that love don't pay the bills. And it's quite contrary to my belief, but I feel like love does pay the bills. I feel like love is the highest frequency there is. And if two people got true love, they gonna manifest whatever they want to manifest. See, a lot of people thinking they see love because this person ain't got, this female done got her, this, her dude named Teddy, you know what I mean? So they looking at all the toxicity on this internet and the toxicity in day to day life, you know what I'm saying? Saying that this is love and they looking at these people be broke or not have enough because they looking like, okay, well these two people in love and they, they doing bad, they ain't got this, that's not love. Just because somebody's laying up smoking weed and having sex all day, that doesn't mean it's love and they, they gonna prosper off what they doing. You know what I mean? When two people genuinely are for each other and they have unity, they're gonna make a way. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people got a misunderstanding about what reality is. You know what I mean? A lot of people watching love and hip hop and they think this real because it's called reality TV when it's the farthest thing away from reality that you can ever get. You know what I mean? That's just how it is. I, like I said, all the women that I've dated in my past, I never have nothing bad to say about them because it was times where they would lose their job and I'd be paying all the bills. And whenever they get back on their feet, it's like we never missed a beat. You know what I mean? No, but I, I would never say, oh, well, you got to pay these. I'm doing all this by myself. They would never do that. You know what I mean? It was always a unity thing because growing up where I'm from, we always seen the bigger picture. Like, it's hard out here, you know what I mean? We both working at the same place. So we finna, you know what I'm saying, have each other's back. But in today's society, it's just like, who got the most money? You got the most money, 
you get the most love, I guess. The, but it be the fake love, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people are going off this fake love, and they thinking people accept them because they got more money, and they thinking because that that movie Tyler Perry made about the woman having a life that she got tired of and she ended up dating the rich dude you know what i mean and he played her to the left you know what i mean that movie was the perfect example of showing people that the grass is not always green on the other side you know what i mean but a lot of the tyler perry's movies go over people's heads you know what i mean i read this post the other day and it said ego says soon as everything falls in place i'll find my peace but spirit says, once I find my peace, everything shall fall in place. Now you can take that how you want to take it, but I took it like, it's just real common sense, man. People think that a lot of situations have to work out for them, for them to be in a perfect or, or the right mindset. Now the key is on this planet to get in the right mindset and get on the right vibration so everything can come to you. You know what I mean? Because the biggest asset you have is your peace in a level-headed mindset you know what i mean because if you got your peace and a level-headed mindset then you know how to treat people you know what i mean you know how to treat different situations and you know how to treat basically anything that uh comes your way you know what i mean a lot of people think they have to be in a mansion or be in this big house for them to have a level-headed but you see all the people who got this right now still trying to be little people and still you know what i mean they not they not at where they want to be spiritually, man. A lot of people get where they need to be matrix-wise before they get where they need to be spiritually, you know what I mean? That's why you can really see, like, spiritual people, they can really be happy, you know what I mean? Not saying that they're broke, but they can actually be happy with themselves because they know that they really need very little to survive, you know what I mean? Like, all you really need for a successful relationship is for both of y'all to be motivated and for both of y'all to actually love each other. You know what I mean? Because like a lot of say, like a lot of people think, they think just because two people are or are an item or together that they really have love. And they don't know that's the reason why they're struggling and why they're unhappy because there's not really love. You know what I mean? It's two, it's, it's, a, it's a, one, probably one common denominator that, that's keeping them together. And that's six. Like for real, if you just, did you dig deep into a lot of relationships that you feel like people are happy, they not happy because they really keeping their relationship together between what they got in their legs. You know what I mean? Them two people don't even know each other. They not, they not, they not in sync with each other's mindset, each other's soul. They don't sit back and just cut off the TV. They, they don't have meals without the TV being on. You know what I mean? It it can no it can be no quietness when they with each other. You know what I mean? Like it's got to be music playing. It's got to be something playing. If you can if you if you don't if you have a relationship and you can't sit with your mate and y'all just really sit there and be in each other's peace or be in each other's quietness or y'all just be the the noise that y'all want to hear, then I mean you you don't truly love that person. You cannot be around that person without some form of entertainment. If that person is not your entertainment and you can't find entertainment with just y'all to that just let you know something right there you know what i mean we seeing a lot of false narratives and a lot of false reality on the internet so that's what we think is the thing or way to be but yeah man y'all let me know what y'all think about this you know what i mean so do y'all feel like women should be making more money or if they do make more money they should leave the, the man you know what i mean it, it, it makes no sense to me like i said i never ran it it's not a part of my reality and it will never be a part of my reality where a woman thinks she shouldn't be with me because i'm making less than her or even the other way around where i feel like i'm making more than her and i feel like she shouldn't be with me you know what i mean that's crazy the, the double standard is crazy on there you know what i mean the, the men should be making it's okay for the man to wait, make way more money than the woman but if the woman make way more than the man the woman should leave the man. Like this, this just that's that's nonsense. You know what I mean? Like what? Damn, y'all y'all forgot about the whole thing, the love, the you know what I'm saying, the relationship part. Like, damn. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just lost in this world. Maybe I just don't belong on this timeline at this 
particular mark you know what i mean and i see stuff way differently or you know what i mean maybe this is how it's supposed to be you know what i'm saying but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments man y'all be blessed on walking that smoke